look here to the lens. Hi, my name is Miles Bailey. I'm a sergeant with the Richmond Police Department. I've been with the department for 12 years sworn, and prior to that, I was a police explorer and a police cadet, both for the Richmond Police Department. Uh, growing up in the city of Richmond, uh, I saw a lot of the effects of gun violence on our community, and what really piqued my interest about uh, getting into law enforcement uh, was seeing how uh, different officers interacted and also intervened uh, with what was going on. What Black History Month means to me is taking time out to honor our ancestors and the people who paved the way for us to get to the points that we're at as African Americans. Uh, most notably for me, my uncle, uh, a retired California Highway Patrol Sergeant, uh, actually was one of the examples that I had seen uh, growing up, seeing pictures of him and, and knowing the uh, history that he had uh, really drove me towards law enforcement. I uh, had another uncle who uh, was with the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department you know, who also uh, piqued my interest. And I remember one day he actually came to my house in full uniform and that was one of the defining moments that really showed me that I wanted to be a police officer. I saw a lot of people, or saw a lot of families who, you know, unfortunately had been victimized by mostly gun violence, but uh, as well as just uh, narcotics addiction and, and different things like that. And seeing the effects and how things were affected so negatively, not only on the person who, you know, may have been victimized, but on the families and people close to them as well. Uh, it really uh, drove me to want to get into a position where I could intervene and try to, you know, make a change uh, with those at least couple of issues, if not, you know, something else more. Yeah, so I've had family members who, you know, have been victims of gun violence and a um, few of them who have actually passed away. And uh, what those, at those times, you know, seeing that they had a life that they chose, but, you know, at the same time, they don't, they didn't deserve to, you know, be murdered, you know, by, you know, anyone by any means at all. You know, it, it really just, it makes me want to do this job more and want to bring justice to the victims that you know I come across you know all the time and just do what I can The, the community support that uh, we get as Richmond police officers is tremendous. Um, the, there's a lot of you know, people who understand what we do. There's a lot of history uh, you know, also to uh, the Richmond Police Department and you know, the, uh, the citizen to the officer rela relationship. Um, the thing that is very unique about Richmond and just is, I'm saying it from my perspective is that we have those relationships and they're pretty solid relationships. There's a lot of officers who, you know, we know people, you know, by their first names, we're talking, you know, all the time to people, we're interacting, you know, just not on not only on the enforcement front or when you call the police, but uh, when those times of we're at festivals or we're just walking around in the community and we're able to really, you know, strengthen those partnerships by actually having conversations, you know, outside of, you know, not having to, you know, take any sort of action. Well, I, I originally uh, grew up in North Richmond, uh, which is one of the, you know, 
tougher areas of our city. You know, obviously there there was a lot of gun violence. There's a lot of, you know, I mean, people who are just trying to make ends meet and everything else that, you know, was in that community. And just growing up around that and having an understanding and, you know, really just a reverence for, you know, how, you know, life can go and how things can happen and how they impact you. You know, it was one of the way, or one of the things that really just, you know, drove me towards wanting to get involved in making a difference. Richmond has a very extensive history and it's very rich. And if you really dig into it, you can see that, you know, a, a lot of people who come from the city of Richmond, you know, they, you know, obviously, you know, contributed whether it be the Rosie the Riveter, you know, was, uh, at that time, uh, the shipyards, building the ships, Chevron, um, you know, just as a, a few examples and, you know, people who've, you know, made an impact, you know, within the city. And along with that, it, there's a lot of strong family ties that are, you know, here in the city of Richmond. There, there's a lot of people who, you know, are originally from here, born and raised, and, you know, there's a unique history that goes along with that. And just, you know, interacting with, you know, citizens and everything else, that has to be understood, you know, whether it be a, a positive interactions or maybe even negative interactions that, you know, they've had with law enforcement. Um, it's one of those things where you know you have to just understand that there is that history sometimes even if there's you know someone who you know may you know come off as you know seeing maybe hesitant to actually uh, speak with us or to you know engage with us you know th th there's maybe a reason why and, and I mean, it's on us to, you know, kind of figure that out and see what we can do, you know, if there's, you know, anything about actually, you know, breaking down that barrier. The police officers that are here in Richmond, and I'm speaking for, you know, a good number of us, you know, we are tied to this community. And we have family members who, you know, still live here. We have, you know, a history that, personal history that we have, you know, with our community and the community members. So we're just as much a part of the community as you are. And we obviously have, you know, a role and we have a job that we, you know, have to do. Uh, but at the same time, there's nothing you know, wrong with sitting down and engaging with us and, you know, having a conversation and let, um, and just certainly seeing where we're coming from, you know, because we're all human, we're all, you know, obviously want the same things, you know, a, a lot of times, but, you know, at the same time, there's uh, that sort of, there may be that disagreement on the way of getting to that point and, and just a little bit of understanding would go a long way.